Hello everyone, Jeff here with an example of finding the price of a forward contract on an asset that pays a known yield. In this example, we have a stock index currently trading at $820 with an annual dividend yield of 3.5%. This may sound familiar, so in order to put this piece together in the puzzle, we'll go to something else we have covered which was finding the price of a forward on an income paying stock. Here we had an asset trading for $100 expected to pay a dividend of a certain dollar amount in the future. The difference here is that the asset has a income expressed as a percentage yield. That's the only difference. The equation will be different as well. This says you wish to enter a nine month forward contract on this asset and the annual continuously compounded risk free interest rate is 6%. Here's the equation here. It says that the forward price is going to be equal to the current spot price, $820, times E raised to the R, which means the same thing as it always does, the interest rate, 6%, minus Q. Q I don't know where the letter Q comes from, but it happens to stand for the known yield. Uh, in this example, is 3.5 percent uh, times T. T stands for what it always does: the length of time. So the reason I wanted to do this example in particular is to point out something extremely important when you do this in Excel. It is going to be, as usual, equal to some amount times exp open parentheses which takes care of the e raised to the something part but remember we always put parentheses for the exp part to make sure we have the entire exponent in uh, where it belongs this equation has parentheses in it already so besides opening the regular parentheses that we like to use to keep the whole exponent together, we are going to also use these other parentheses that are part of the equation. So we are going to use s times exp open parentheses, open parentheses, the interest rate minus the yield on the investment, close parentheses for this parentheses right here, times time, close parentheses. This is important to make sure we get everything going where it belongs and in the right order. So again, just to emphasize, the EXP function in Excel always takes its own set of parentheses. If the equation itself has parentheses, you need those parentheses as well. So we will do that just to show. Uh, here the equation is, we take the current spot price 820 we multiply by e raised to the something. The something in this case is, open parentheses again, the interest rate, in this case the continuously compounded risk-free interest rate, 0.06 minus Q, which we're using to stand for the dividend yield on the asset, 0 0.035, 3.5% close parentheses, that's this one here, times time, this is a nine month forward contract, nine over 12, you can do 0.75 if you want to do that, close parentheses. That tells us that the price of the forward on this stock index is going to be 835.52. As one other quick note of where you will see a similar thing where we need the double parentheses, that will be when you are finding the price of a forward contract on currency, where you have the same formula except you have the uh, amount and E raised to the R minus RF, where R is the risk-free interest rate in the home country and RF is the uh, risk-free rate in the foreign country. It's the same formula with one value replaced and the same thing will happen here where you need the parentheses inside the main parentheses in order to get the correct answer.